it's your boy, Cheap Ass Statue Collector, and today this is the review of the Iron Man Mark III. I'm gonna go ahead and get into all the categories, and we're gonna go ahead and nitpick the shit out of this piece. I got my juice right here. Oh, yeah. I got my Iron Man right here. I don't think it gets any better than this, guys. This is called Living the Life. Um, of course, UPS came at fucking 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., as late as they could to send this to me. Um, so, that's great. Let's get into the pose. Pose is cool. Um, I like this piece a lot because it's kind of like a diorama, especially with the EX because you got this cool head right here. Ba bang, ba bang, ba bang. So it kind of does, you know, I'm the diorama guy. I like versus stuff, so this looks really cool. It's kind of like the Flash versus Gorilla Garage, where the Flash is standing on Gorilla Garage. This is kind of reminds me of it. Obviously, you can't put the whole uh, Iron Monger, is that his name? I don't know. Um, on the base, you have the arm and the head and the chest piece lights up. I haven't checked that out yet. Um, the head, this head does not light up. That'd be cool if it did, I guess. But um, either way, it's really cool. It's definitely uh, an awesome statue, and I'm super excited. Um, so enough about the base. Um, the pose of Iron Man is really nice. It is museum esque, right? But um, and I'm more of a action pose guy. But I think it goes really well because he is standing on top of this dead Iron Man, Iron Man suit or body, or whatever. So I think it fits and it tells the story nicely. Um, you know, he's not going like this, like the last like fucking six statues that everyone's making. Um, it, it, it's original, it's cool, it tells a really good story, and I like it. That definitely gets two thumbs up on the pose. Um, the base could be a little... Nah, fuck it, the base is a nice size. It is huge, though. I don't know if it is going to fit in the best. I don't think it does unless you turn it sideways. Um, so maybe that might be a deal break for some people. But you have to get creative with your displays, I guess. So the next thing we want to talk about, you guys, let me get a sip. It's the, uh, let's go into the sculpt details. Let's, let's save the paint apps for last. The sculpt details are amazing. The base is awesome. It's got like this black border all the way around it, which is nice. And it seamlessly goes into the actual ground and this dead body. <clears throat> That's really cool. There's a lot of details on the actual base as well. On this piece right here, it's so cool. Um, I'm really happy with it. The details on Iron Man are nice as well. Um, it's a, basically an Iron Man suit um, that is damaged, so there are dings and dents inside the suit, but it looks really good. I don't know if there's any more details you could have added to the suit. Uh, he's got like little holes up here on the top of his back. I don't know what they are for, um, but I really, really, really like it, you guys. His face is pretty, is pretty damaged. And that's going to lead us right into the paint, you guys. I think the overall paint apps on the body of Iron Man are fucking spectacular. I knew it was a battle damaged armor man, but I didn't know how battle damaged it was, especially on his face. He's got like this, uh, it looks like the paint is melting off and it's like turning silver on the side. It looks so awesome. It's doing that on the back as well. It definitely looks like a beat up worn suit. And I actually like that a lot. Um, a lot of the earlier premium formats and stuff like that, had these clean, fresh suits that they just put on. I like that it's battle damaged, it's nice. I wish that my um, Superman versus Doomsday statue, one of my favorite statues, was a little bit more battle damaged. He's got a brand new suit on, it's not that cool. Whereas you look at the Hulk versus Wolverine statue, um, Hulk obviously is not bleeding, which he should be, but Wolverine is kind of, his suit is actually looks like it's worn before. It doesn't look like it's actually battle damaged, but it looks like it's been used, right? It's not like new gem mint, you know what I mean? But that said, let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that is the boots, his shoes. Like, he's Mud Man, not Iron Man. Like, you know where it's a problem is right here. Right here where it meets his ankle, and it's like perfectly clean, but like all underneath his shoe is just fucking just muddy. Like I said, this side's not bad because you got like mud inside these little little hole vents that he has right here. That's not bad because there's a lot of mud right here on his shin. Um, really, it's like the inside right here where it looks like it's like 
perfectly squeaky clean. And on this side right here where it's really nice and clean. And if you look closely on his boots, um, there are spots where they miss kind of, where um, the the paint is like a, like there's just tiny, tiny, tiny little little spots where the paint is like perfectly red. Like it's almost like where they missed to put, it's almost like they missed, uh, <laughs> they missed putting the mud on the shoe. But just taking an overall look at it is, <clears throat> It's pretty much battle damaged everywhere, and you know the paint looks awesome. This is one of my favorite Iron Man's for sure. Um, I think my favorite Iron Man costume, I believe, is the Mark V. I think that's the XM one. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know, guys. I think it's Mark V. That is my favorite Iron Man costume, but this is definitely a runner-up. Um, the base is awesome. Iron Man looks awesome. Again, those damn muddy boots. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, learn to live with it or not, but, you know, in some cases, the mud kind of goes up here up on, on where his shin is, shin meets his boot. It kind of goes up there naturally, or it looks like it goes up there naturally, and it looks good, but there's just little s spots where it's just overdone too much. Um, but again, this is the battle damage suit, so... Um, you know, maybe with time I'll learn to to like it. Am I gonna sell it, return it? No, fucking, I wanted an Iron Man, and um, this pose and this face and everything really, really does it for me. Um, you know, it's seven hundred dollars, right? So if you some people said if you spend seven hundred dollars, you better like like it one hundred percent. You don't always have to like something one hundred percent if you spend seven hundred bucks. Depends how deep your pockets are. You know what I mean? I like, I really like this piece, I, and I love. The, the base, I love the pose and everything. Um, the mud boots, like, I, I don't know how or why they had to put so much mud on it. Uh, really, they... <laughs> Sideshow, come on now. What the fuck? Um, but everything else is awesome, you guys. Um, I can't wait to display this. I have no idea where I'm going to display this. Um, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to... My boy David, he's on Immortalized in Stone, or now it's called The Collector's Chat, but um, David doesn't have a YouTube channel yet. Um, he has a lot of pieces, the dude's a real collector. And he uh, gave me his pre-order, because I last minute waited for it, I could have ordered it, and he didn't want it. And he gave it to me, he didn't try to upsell it to me or anything else like that, that's shady. Because he's actually a true friend, right? There's some people out there that would have tried to charge me an extra $300. Um, but those people aren't really collectors, those are just, uh, you know, let's say the word, flippers. So, um, <laughs> David is not a flipper, he's a real collector. Um, so, David, uh, <laughs> uh, you guys, I'm really happy about this. Here's the problem, though. <laughs> now i got to get a war machine to go with him. So, and maybe a few more Iron Man suits, right? So, that's the problem with collecting and a lot of people that um, want to finish lines or create lines, right? They want to, with Iron Man, basically what you could do is just collect all the Iron Man suits. And I'm sure there's some of you out there that this is like your seventh one, right? Or whatever, how many numbers there are. So, you know, am I happy with just one? Yes, I am. Would I like to get a war machine? Yes. I don't know which one. Let me know which one you guys think would go best with this. The uh, Mark 1 or the Mark 2. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. But um, let me know in the comments below which one you guys think I should get. Obviously, I know which one is more expensive. Um, but again, for me, that ain't a thing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, I'm super excited about this, you guys. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, smash the fucking like button. Fucking smash a sub, share this, um, if you guys liked it, um, like I said, overall, it's an outstanding piece, and don't return it, yeah, I think you're gonna like it a lot, um, but other than that, guys, peace.